No, the really, the really yeah, disgusting thing about that movie was that it was like so disgusting about that movie was that it was so gross. The really, the really disgusting thing about that movie was that it was so gross. Children, please. A little silence. The really, the really disgusting thing about that movie was that it was so gross. Just gross. The really, the really disgusting thing about that movie was that it was so gross. Thanks, Mr. Snooprack. I have an important announcement to make. I have decided to organize a school trip. Great. I get the feeling we're off to the Pickle Museum. We're going to Champlou Park, the biggest amusement park in the world. Yeah! Roar! A participation fee of 20 docimos is required, so speak with your parents about it. And this will be a bus trip. This trip will be awesome. We'll get to sing. I'm gonna sit all the way in the front, right next to the microphone. We'll sit all the way in the back of the bus so we can tickle the girls. We could also sit in the back if we want. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, pirate poop, did I say? We're gonna hit Pirate poop is stinky. Hey, JB, at Champloo Park, we're gonna hit the Mega Rocket right first, or do the Pirate Loop, huh? Because the Pirate Loop is cool, but maybe it's better to start with I won't be able to join you. What? Why not? Because I'm, um, because you're kidding, right? Yeah, he's pulling our leg. Because I get sick on buses. They give me motion sickness and... I don't want to throw up in front of the whole class. What? You don't want to come because you're afraid you'll throw up? <sighs> Thanks for keeping it a secret. Oh, I get sick in buses too. Me too. And I almost always throw up. Uh, I always bring a barf bag with me. If it doesn't bounce around too much, I'm okay, but barely. Really? You all get sick too? So you can ride the Mega Rocket no problem! Cause you would've already puked beforehand! Kiko, leave him alone. What? What did I say? By the way, GB, don't forget to ask your parents for money to go to Champlou Park. We leave in only three days. Try to remember. I promise I'll bring it tomorrow. So, GB, did you bring the money? We'll give it to him right away so everything's settled. Uh, we can't bother Mr. Goddard. Can this just wait for tomorrow? Uh, okay, uh, I have to pee first. Can't you hold it? What's he doing? Maybe he really had to go. Oh boy, this is getting more complicated all the time. Quack. GB is really acting weird. It's almost like he doesn't want to go to Champlou Park. That's impossible. All he's wanted to do since it opened is go there. There must be something else. It's not just a question of car sickness. But the dude's got a lot of explaining to do. GB? What happened? We were waiting for you. Yeah, well, I, um, I mean, I can explain everything to you. I teleported myself so I could go faster, but it didn't work, and actually I was planning to go home and ask my father for the money. I wanted to tell you. Really, I did. But you said this morning that you already had the money. Yeah, well, actually, when I teleported myself, I landed at Nanook the Penguin's place, and he asked me to loan him some money because he needed to replace the carburetor of his microwave oven, and I really have to get going. Okay, it's obvious. He's hiding something from us. That's for sure. He didn't even finish his dessert. 
It was stolen? I know, it's crazy, but I had the money this morning, and then, wham, they jumped me and took it all. There must have been 25 of them. Ninjas. Flying ninjas. My neighborhood is really dangerous. It's a real jungle. Ninjas? I knew your neighborhood wasn't the greatest, but is it really that bad? You could have teleported yourself somewhere to escape the flying ninjas. Yeah, but I didn't think of it. No big deal, though. I'll go to Shop in the Park next year. Don't worry about me, guys. There are more important things in life, so don't get all concerned about little old me. Can you believe it? Flying ninjas? He thinks we're going to buy that? What? Didn't you know that ninjas could fly? Yeah! yeah! That's the third time you've forgotten, GB. I think I'll call your parents so there's no chance they'll forget. No, don't do that. I'll definitely have the money tomorrow. Actually, my father just gave me a big bill. I have to do some shopping so I can get some change, and then I'll have enough for the school trip. If you would like, I can break it for you, GB. Oh, no thanks. Uh, bad debts make for bad trips, and anyway, the store is going to close any minute, sir. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we'll follow him to school from his house. We can't let him be attacked by those flying ninjas again. Oh, no. Wait, Chibi. Why won't they just leave me alone? <laughs> oh, no, the volume is stuck. The flying ninjas! They've got him! All right, chimp. Give us your money. No, no, leave me alone. I don't have any money. I'm poor. I don't care. Give me what you got. Your candy, too. I make it snappy. It's not wise to make the flying ninjas wait. <laughs> I told you so. Let's go. Subrata, you have to do something. Something's fishy here. Hurry, you guys escape. I'll handle this by myself. Mega cosmic attack! You'll never get me! Oh my gosh! We have to help him! There must be a whole army of them! What can we do against flying ninjas? What do the Time Avengers usually do? Uh, they use their Meta Truck Attack? Do you really think that's relevant right now? Meta Truck Attack! Oh, GB. Oh no! GB! Come out right now! We have to talk! They're all gone. Thanks anyway. Well, they did get away with all my money, but that's okay. I'll go to Champlain Park another time. GB, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Wow, you fought so hard and you don't even have a scratch. Chiku, calm down. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sick of lying. None of this is true. <laughs> I don't get car sick. I didn't forget my money and no one stole it from me. The truth is that things are tough at home right now. My dad lost his job. So I didn't want to bother him with this trip. He already has enough to worry about. That's why I concocted this whole story, but you had to go and follow me to know everything. You couldn't leave me alone. I hate you. We gotta do something. Yeah, but what? There's nothing we can do. The bus leaves soon and it's too late to find the money. There's always something we can do. Calm down now. We're going to start boarding the bus soon, so I want some order and discipline. I mean, discipline. Miss Lucille, Subrata had a great idea. No, no, I don't want any great ideas. Shut up. Miss, we don't think it's fair that GB can't come with us. 
so we decided not to go either. Yeah, everyone goes or no one goes at all. I'm in. Me too. <laughs> me, too. Oh, me, too. me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. What? Not me. No, no, don't ruin your trip on account of me. It's not worth it. I'm fine staying here by myself. No, 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 GB. It wouldn't be the same without you. Right, everyone? Yeah! yeah! Mr. Bernard, can we move the school trip to tomorrow? That's absolutely possible, kids. I'm very proud of you. Oh, no. The Mega Rocket Ride! Jimmy, wait! We got something for you. This way, you'll be able to come too. And that's the last we hear about it. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. There's no need to. We're happy to do this. Yeah, piece of cake. Uh, uh, I, I, about yesterday, I didn't really mean what I said. We know. Don't forget that we'll always be here to help you. Come on, let's bring the money to Mr. Bernard right away. And we'll come with you, just to be safe. Because with this flying ninja's invasion, the roads aren't so safe anymore. Shampoo Park, here we come! come.